Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a just bonus kind of collective general love reading for you all. Now, um, I know you guys haven't properly seen me before, so hi. <laughs> um, I thought, well, I just kind of um, say hello. So I hope you guys are doing okay and that you are enjoying your weekend. Obviously, I just want to say thank you all so much for the continual love and support that you show for us in the channel. It really is um, so amazing and I just feel so completely blessed. So thank you all so much. And I know I'm meant to be resting my voice, guys, and not doing of anything, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> um, if I'm getting called to give you a message, then I'm gonna do that. Um, so I feel like you guys are wanting um, a little message. So this is just going to be like a really kind of quick fire reading. Um, we're going to go through quite a few decks of cards and just get into it. OK, so we're going to start off with the tarot first. Um, Angels of love and light, we please have clear and concise messages for um, the collective, please. And thank you. What do they all need to know in relation to love? Um, so let's get into this. Obviously, I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest. Um, however, this best resonates, just flip it around to however it resonates but as you know as you now know guys um don't kind of like force the messages to fit um because if it's not your message it's just not your message so let's get into this anyway okay so the six of swords has wanted to show itself could be dealing with an air sign gemini um libra or aquarius we have the seven of wands in reverse and the ace of swords could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay, guys, Six of Cups. Wow, Page of Cups. I feel like you guys are dealing with a very um, high-level soulmate here or a past-life soulmate. This person could be having a difficult time right now um, in another situation, in a third party, potentially with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, but doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, it could just be a challenging third party situation, which could be relating to family, children, um, work, could be something to do with um, I'm getting distance, could be to do with religion, culture, um, travel, all sorts of different things. It could be addictions, it could be certain behaviours or mindsets. The Emperor's just shot out, so you could be dealing um, potentially with an Aries. It's the first major that's come out on the table. You could also be dealing with a Divine Masculine here, guys. Um, so if you do resonate with the Twin Flame journey, um, you could be a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine. Either that or you are dealing with someone who is a very high-level soulmate to you. This person, wow, as I say that, Four of Wands has just flown out. Okay, so... I definitely feel this person is um, leaving what's not serving them anymore and wanting to have a union or reunion or reconciliation with you. This is definitely a strong um, divine counterpart here. This person's hoping you're going to drop your guard. They are on the way back to you, but you may have your swords up to them, guys. <laughs> They're going to reach out with the Eight of Wands um, and just say... Um, look, I'm sorry for whatever happened in the past. Do you fancy that we could kind of meet up, see each other? But they're a little bit unsure to reach out to you or not, guys. Maybe you intimidate them. I hope you guys are behaving. <laughs> yeah, you could be doing really well right now for yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles, kind of living your best life. And this person sees that. They could be having a tough time at home, I'm getting, or tough time with their career or their finances or something where they feel like they're stuck somewhere. Um, they could be dealing with someone who's very childish here with a page of wands in reverse. What else here, please? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. We have the death card, um, Scorpio energy coming out in reverse. I'm getting it's not over yet. So this person feels like it's not over yet. They want you to drop your guard. They want you to drop your swords if they come in to see you. Yeah, this person has been in hermit mode for a little while now. Um, they've been staying in separation from you. I feel like they're going to make themselves known. 
they have been very much up in their headspace because they see you doing pretty well for yourself, I feel. You may be out dating, you could be single. Um, there are definitely other people very interested in you here, but with the Knight of Wands in reverse, these people um, may be here for a, a good time or a short time rather than necessarily something um, long lasting, if you kind of catch my drift, guys. I'll uh, take one more. Yeah, this person here wants to have victory and success with you and they want to bring you justice here with the Libra card and then we have the hang one but they're just holding themselves back from doing it right now they could have been a bit selfish in the past potentially or if that wasn't necessarily the case they're a bit consumed elsewhere dealing with a um, third party situation where there's been a bit of trickery involved this person has been holding themselves back here with the strength card, but with it coming out in reverse, they're not going to be able to hold themselves back much longer because they want to, um, I'm getting be clear cut with you. Yeah, they weren't very um, clear with their communication in the past, but they are making plans here to come forward towards you to offer you this cup of love. Okay, to offer you a, a friendship, a partnership. This person does have love for you and if they do have other options I feel like they're not so keen on the other options they're a bit concerned about whether you have a load of options and whether you're concerned um, about having anything more with this person or not the Sun card just come out could be dealing with a Leo and then we have the King of Cups this person loves you and they want to bring you peace with the five of wands in reverse but they have a lot of drama in their life, which they're waiting for it to close out here before um, you guys can get together in a sense of destiny and fate with divine timing coming into play. So let's look into the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards um, and see what additional messages. What can we get here? What's going on with this? What's going on with this here, please? And thank you. <clears throat> the hammer. Yeah, this person wants to fix it. They're ascending. They're working on themselves. Yeah. They're ascending away from the third party situation with the seduction card. Yeah. They don't have passion for this other situation with this person anymore. But they have the fire and the passion for you. Um, but they're up in their head still. They're up in their head feeling heartbroken here. Because they're unsure whether you have completely cut them off or not. Are you interested? Do you want to give it another go? Um... This person is concerned about how their behaviour um, really affected the connection and now they're a bit unsure as to whether you'll be interested in having um, a reconciliation with them. But you and them coming together would be um, a paradise and here with the engagement ring. This person views you as someone that they could have a very solid commitment with but they're scared that you've already moved on here with girl talk. Let's look at the romance angels and see what they want to say. Angels, please, can you tell us a few messages? For this reading I'm getting just let me talk so maybe this person will um just kind of want you to be there in their presence and just not really say very much um, we have deceptions come out okay someone's wearing a full self mask in this relationship well we know that this person hasn't been confessing their feelings but also they could be dealing with a karmic partner karmic ex or someone that they have a family with who's been um, deceptive here and masks could be falling off relatively soon. The harsh light of day has been shown on a situation and um, they may come forward to let you know here with a past life relationship and heart to heart conversation that they are axing that off, that they're done with that. And they're now coming forward to make the effort to have a connection with you. And then we have engagement so that they are more involved in your life now, guys. Um, yeah. This person may have wanted to have a lot of control on the connection in the past, but I feel like that could be something they're working on here. Yeah, okay. I feel like this person may um, be a bit frustrated with themselves because they didn't show you how they felt before. They felt all this chemistry, but you may have felt like it was unrequited love between the two of you because they didn't show of themselves. Potentially this person was all about their work. They could be a boss. 
They could be a CEO, they could be an entrepreneur, maybe a manager position of sorts, someone of authority. Um, this person wants you to have trust and faith that they are doing what they need to do and they're separating from whatever isn't serving them anymore um, because they don't want to be in separation from you anymore as well. So if I keep on repeating my words, guys. Um, but yeah, this person wants you and them to go away together with honeymoon and worth waiting for. Um, yeah, if... <laughs> If this person had the opportunity to get you alone, um, <laughs> you would have a great time with one another. I'm sure of it, guys. So um, as we're trying to keep it PG, okay. So let's look into Soul Journey Oracle and see what additional messages we can get for you. Um, yeah, this person wants not just your friendship. Just seen 1111 on the clock here, guys. Um, they understand that you're in their life for a reason, but they have fear and doubt holding them back from pursuing this supposed, like, friendship or connection or for it to develop any further um, and for you and them to have the sense of freedom and lightness in the connection um, but this person's having their indecision hold them back here um, holding them back from their own freedom really they're not surrendering this is it they've been asked to surrender the connection and to surrender and imagine that things can actually turn out better um, than they're expecting it to and I feel like this person has just it all up in their head and they're stressed rather than necessarily coming forward. I feel like this could be really a detriment to their health right now. I'm going to um, just close off the reading with the hidden truth. Okay, so this could be what they would like to confess to you or what you would like to kind of confess to them as this can be for cross watchers as well, guys. So, um, yeah, if you are um, enjoying this reading, please hit the thumbs up as it makes a massive difference with the channel and it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. So thank you all so much. Um, everything you need to know about myself and the channel is in the description box below. And also, if you did fancy supporting myself um, and the channel financially, then there is a donation link now available as well. So thank you so much of, to those of you who have already donated. Um, I greatly appreciate you. So thank you so much. And also, um, if you do not financially donate, then absolutely, that's fine. Just to um, like, share, comment, subscribe, that type of thing is um, really awesome as well. So thank you so, so much. Um, so, yeah, let's get into these hidden truths, shall we? Wow, okay, the timing just wasn't right for us. I want to feel that way again, okay? So they've obviously not felt that bit of um, something, something for a little while. Um, especially, I mean, guys, I mean, you were coming out as like the sun, the emperor, we've got the four of wands, you know, these beautiful cards wanting to show itself with the nine of cups. You know, I mean, who wouldn't want to kind of be around you guys? Um, I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, this person just had a lot of fear and insecurity kind of getting in the way. I wish things could be different. I feel like this person is probably um, expressing to whoever they're dealing with right now that um, that they need to kind of let them go. As in, there's probably a strong sense of codependency in this other connection. What else here, please and thank you. I remember every detail of that day. So if you had a last final conversation and things were like not that great, then this person feels deep regret and they're really sad about how things were. Um, this person is saying, I feel you even though we are apart. And potentially this person's also saying, I'm not available. Or maybe you're saying this to this person right now. So if they were to say, look, can we do off something? You may be like, well, actually... I've got a lot on my plate right now um, and you might have to kind of get back to them type of thing. But this person is hoping that slowly, slowly, gently, gently, you guys will be able to kind of like make things work. But obviously, guys, this is just a very impromptu um, reading. So I hope that the message resonates. A few messages resonate, if not the whole reading. Um, let us know in the comments down below. Um, I would love to get your feedback. I will eventually get back to you on those comments, guys. I know I'm a bit slow. I will work on it. Okay, promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, just have um, a wonderful weekend. Uh, please take care of yourselves and um, we'll speak to you very soon. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye for now.